Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons and the brand new Dungeons & Dragons board game, Dungeons & Dragons Adventure Begins. All right, so I'm going to tell you what this game is, and then I'm going to give you my review of the game and just give you some thoughts about it. Uh, so I had a fortunate, I had the fortunate, good fortune to play this game recently. Uh, the retail uh, value on this game is pretty low. It's $25. Um, it's, it's just cost $25. It just released this year. It's a 2020 board game. Uh, it's Dungeons and Dragons Adventure Begins. Uh, let me talk about what the game is. It's a cooperative game. So it's you, it's up to four, two to four players. It takes about, it, it's not short. It takes an hour to two hours to play. By the way, I, I will tell you right now, you can almost always increase the time a game plays by 25 to 75% of the time it says on the box. And that's across the industry, in my opinion. And, of course, everybody's like, well, it'll play longer the first time. Some games never get played a second or third time, right? Like, so, it you know, it, it we played a solid 2 hours and 15 minutes to play, to finish it, right? And we were expecting an hour, right, to 90 minutes max, right? So... It did take a while, and, and, and that's after we watched a playthrough and, and knew the rules. So we had prepped beforehand, right? So it, it's not a sh it doesn't play quickly. It's, it's, it's kind of a little bit of a long game. Um, I think once you did learn it, it might, you know, you could do it in an hour, maybe an hour and a half if you were lucky. But I would expect two hours of play for this, right? Um, that's just a little bit. And, and actually, I sound disgruntled on that. That's, that's an industry issue, right? I don't understand what it's going to take for the industry to realize their games actually need to actually play in 60 to 90 minutes. Some companies get this. A lot of companies don't. People just don't have a lot of time anymore. And I think games should run faster. That's just a... It has nothing to do with this game. It's just overall. All right. So um, let's talk about the components in the game. When you get this game, you get four miniatures. They're red, green, yellow, and blue. Okay? Okay. And then you get a matching die that matches the exact color of the miniatures, which is super awesome. Really, really nice. Incredibly well done. You then get um, these little trays, and on those trays, you're going to put three separate pieces of cardboard to build a character sheet. And the character sheets have um, have a picture and the name of the of the character. It they have both male and female. Okay. Um, and which is really nice, you know, for who, you know, so that you can choose the gender you want to play. And then also, uh, you can, uh, and then the other thing is it gives you a, uh, like a description of a one time per, per segment, uh, attack. And then it gives you these base attacks. And then all of those cardboard colored, all colored cardboard little um, slots, and they're they're laminated. They look really nice. Very, very the the production value on this game is through the roof. It is it looks gorgeous. The uh, it has miniatures. It has matching dice for the miniatures. It has these gorgeous. Uh, I keep saying cardboard, and that's what they are, right? They're cardboard. They're you know cardboard uh, with a kind of like a nice paper finish, uh, laminated paper finish spectacular really really spectacular uh zero complaints and actually i cannot recommend the production values on this game enough everything in it is top notch um the art could have been a little better on the cards it fell down a little bit there but but the layout the text the design the clarity of the game the the rules were very clear they were easy to follow that really doesn't matter much anymore i think most board gamers have switched over to watching video Video playthroughs are way better than a printed rule book. And the reason why is the printed rule book is just like, it's really to answer questions once you get at the table. And the reality is, if you watch a playthrough, you're going to see how things move. You're going to see relationships better. Video just crushes text. There's just no two ways about it. Like, um, And with board games, you know, people make video playthroughs for three, and there's tons of them. You can watch a three-minute one or a 15-minute one or a 30-minute one. And that's true for this game and many other games, right? So that, that's really nice. Um, it's really fantastic. I, I was very, very impressed with the production values on this game. Um, what it is is it, it and so you each character builds a character sheet, and you, you can turn, o turn around each of the three component 
cardboard pieces that have your attacks, your class, you know, your heritage, all that kind of thing, right? It's all right there, right? And um, it's it's all you know, it's all very clear. Uh, and you can really you can really just by making three decisions build a character uh, uh, a character sheet very quickly and and on this little tracker that they give it's it's actually a plastic tracker and on the bottom it has your hit points from 10 to zero um, and it, it's just really it's beautifully done it's so good you're like why don't we have this for the actual game like <laughs> we could say well you know why does this have to be this cool in a board game and the the tabletop role playing game is so much lamer compared to this it's so good uh it's really really fantastic is it's and it's just so fast and modular um the game okay so all of that happens and basically the game itself let's talk about the game itself and how it actually plays there are it is a dungeon right but uh, the dungeons are Gauntle Grim, Neverwinter, Neverwinter uh, Woods, and I think there's one more location, right? And these are oval boards that connect in different ways so that you can... The boards are like modular, the way many, many board games are today. You, you click together the pieces to make a custom playthrough experience, right? So the board isn't the same every time. The miniatures go on those little oval boards that all connect to make a bigger board. And then the miniatures go from core spaces to monster spaces. And there's a little bit of a, a, of a strategy as far as do all the players fight a monster or do some of the players take a rest and kind of go forward on the path and bypass the monster? It's an interesting mechanic. Uh, it it it's really has no analog in Dungeons & Dragons at all. Um, like I've never had my players say, I'm going to sit on this log over here and you guys go fight that monster because I'm damaged. I think like <laughs> the DD doesn't really work like that. And the whole game is supposed to be a representation of Dungeons and Dragons in board game. It does do a great job of showing people what a character, what a character sheet is, uh, what the court, you know, sorcerer, rogue, you know, wizard rogue, uh, fighter, cleric, it's, they're all there. It's, it's pretty nice. It, it does a really good job of that. Um, also, as far as you get encounters and you get monsters, okay? Encounters, uh, the encounters in this are kind of like skill checks and they're pretty lame. A lot of them are not that great. The monsters are fantastic, extremely well done. Uh, the other thing is when you look at this thing, it's amazing how awesome it is from the perspective of, uh, just how, uh, it's really, really fantastic. It's a great game. Uh, it's really uh, the way it, it brings this stuff forward. Let me start to wrap this up. So real quick, I'll describe, uh, I'll give you my overall, my overall opinion of this game, right? Uh, this is, the rules are good. The production values are incredibly high. At $25, it's a great value. Um, the the only problems are it is a cooperative game. That kind of sucks. Most people hate cooperative games. I'm kind of in that mold. Uh, it would have been better if there had been a competitive aspect to it. Um, and then the other aspect is uh, it's so... Oh, yeah, here's the problem. It's it's built with complexity, and it could be a good board game, but they made it to the point where it's so dedicated to being an introduction to Dungeons & Dragons where people come out of that going, oh, I'd love to play the, the full game. You literally cannot lose the game. I read the rule book, and I would love anybody to correct me. It does not seem like a, like you can lose, right? It's a board game. It's a cooperative board game where you literally can't lose, right? That's a problem, right? So I definitely think that should have been tightened up. Uh, next time I'm gonna I like this game enough where we're I'm gonna play this again. Next time I'm gonna play it, I, we're actually gonna fix that. We're gonna um, we're gonna actually home rule it. All. Um, that that's my review of this four out of five stars i'd love to hear your thoughts on the game if you played it or what are your thoughts about the idea that they they really that the purpose of this board game was really to hype Dungeons and dragons i'd love to hear your thoughts on that let me know in the comments below please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium